What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For this piece, I want to theme it with like one of my favorite Marvel characters, the very popular character, Deadpool. I really just wanted to create a cool way to infuse both the essence of Deadpool and like my graffiti. Pretty much just paint Deadpool, everything he's like famous for, but also find a way to tie that into my letters. So this was a pretty fun challenge where I was combining both characters and letters into one cohesive mural. From my last video, you can see that I talked a lot about my inspiration. Another thing that inspires me is video games. The reason why video games is so important is because that was actually my first introduction to Deadpool. It was way before the movies. I was probably around like 12. Marvel vs. Capcom. I believe it was Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> I started playing with Deadpool just because I thought he looked cool. He would do this thing where uh, he would mimic Michael Jackson and like do this moonwalk. He broke the fourth wall, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, he's famous for doing that. I get the cover of the next Street Fighter for this, right Capcom? Right? I really liked him because I thought he was funny. As time went on, the movie started coming out and he started growing popularity and all that. If you love Deadpool, drop a comment below. Just what you love about Deadpool, all that stuff. Donde esta la biblioteca? I actually own this Spanish comic book of Deadpool because when I was in Mexico, I wanted to learn more Spanish. I thought what better way to learn Spanish than have Deadpool teach me. No, I haven't read it yet. I have not. I still to this day, dang, I got this a while ago. And I got my buddy, one of my best friends, copy as well. I still don't know what happens in this comic book. And if you guys want me to read this book all in Spanish, this video gets 50 likes. I will force myself to read this back to back in Spanish and like comprehend, try to understand what I'm saying. The way my letters work, Deadpool's head is like the cap of my lowercase g, like the whole, I guess like circle part of a lowercase g. And if you look closely at the piece, there's like sort of like a little tentacle looking thing wrapping around down his neck. It's like I call it the whip of the lowercase g. The A is a capital A. His whole body is the letters. The A is actually his arm holding the gun while the gun is shooting. The T is just in there with his body, just real warped up, real like ripped apart flesh. It was like really gory and just like really messy. I could get as shredded as I want and it made it really easy to also incorporate like the space rips. I try to put like real balance throughout the piece. But going back to the letters, the one thing I struggled a lot with in the beginning of my early days with this name was the H because H's are, I don't know, they're sort of hard. They're sort of really hard to do. It's sort of hard for me to balance. Actually, it's like the sickest letter because the H would actually be part of his front torso ripping and you see the spine showing through and as like a bridge to the bottom half of his body. Somehow it just worked out in like this beautiful way when I thought of it like, oh dude, like you're gonna trip out when you see this H just because of how cool I thought it was. But that's just probably just me nerding out. Moving on, we finished the piece with just like the sickest E. I love this E. It's just like the freshest little guy and it's so hard looking. I really like that and just like adding a lot of the gore and the stuff throughout the piece. It really made it really fun. I think really easy for me to do this piece. Thank you. 